Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome back to another video. I'm your host and commentator, Mighty Mapple 123 and today we're going to be witnessing a battle between the greens and the reds. I'm super excited as we have a brand new battle map now. Look, look at this. I have completely remastered Season 1's battle map, which is called The Great Separation. It literally shows everything on the map. You go and watch the previous video if you want to watch a little bit more about it. Um, link will be in the description and also be sure to go and watch the last story driven video as well which was where the greens crashed through the great divide being this huge huge sort of iron curtain or wooden curtain should we say made of lollipop sticks um, that's going through the center of this huge piece of land right here so the greens have broke through they're going to be bringing up some reinforcements as well so the greens were like it's time for war and then the reds were like bring it on puke and then the blues were just like, come on guys, can't, can't you just meet up? And then boom, they went to war, never die! And the, the blues were just like, suit yourselves, we're not, we're not, we're not going to partake in this blue-red war yet. You know, it, well, green-red war should we say. Even though the blues are allied with the greens, they're not going to have any part in it just yet. Maybe you guys can help me decide if they do or not. Maybe it's going to escalate on more than one front. Anything that happened in this area in previous videos was purely corporation based. As you can see, the grey Legos still hold the sandpit, and the greens are now dug in, and the blues have resecured Cardboard City. So this is going to be super cool. I want you guys to help me decide in the comments. Also, join the Discord as well. And while you're at it, why not give me a like, and also subscribe to this channel, so you can keep up to date with everything that's going on with the series. So anyway, in this battle, the greens and the reds are about to engage. We have right here one Colonel Redshenko, and we have three units. Each unit of these stands for 80 soldiers. So we can see there's around 80, 160, I don't know. I'm terrible at maths. 240 soldiers currently ready to engage. And each one of these tents on the battle map as well represent 40 soldiers, I believe. Yeah, 40 soldiers. So that's 4, 8, 12. So 120, 240, 480. And I'll let you guys do the rest of the maths on that. So we can see... There's a lot of soldiers right here in this location. So the aim of today's uh, video is for the Greens to try and push in and now take the reserve camp for which they was uh, deporting the front line against the Greens in the previous video. Like I say, I do urge you to try and watch every video that I put out. That way you can stay up to date with the story and not get lost because it's really hard as there's so many episodes. Uh, yes, but I'm going to try and do like a previously thing. I'm um, at the start of every video now where I keep you up to date with what happened in the last video. So, anyway, so we have Colonel Redshenko, and I believe we have one, uh, I think this is a Major Johnson, I believe. He is going to be leading the attack from the Greens. We can currently see that we've got a lot of Greens coming in a nice formation. Their objective is going to be empty these factories right here and, uh, yeah, try and lure them out of the camp because... As you can see, if the Reds deploy all their units, they are absolutely outnumbered if the Greens go on the offensive. So the Greens are going to somewhat go on the offensive, come to about here on this line, and then they're going to dig themselves in, bring their artillery forward, and try and bring them out of their camp. No idea what Colonel Redchenko is going to do. Super interested to see. So if I shake my cur cursor like this, we're going to go straight down onto the battlefield. So here we are on the battlefield and as you can see the greens have moved up their infantry and their artillery to now soften up the defences of the reds in the camp of ahead look. This is super epic, you can even see that they've got a stray tank. This thing must have been left behind by some old company of tanks. Um, maybe they just, uh, I don't know, told it to patrol around the perimeter. We can, see, we can hear the alarm in the background now of all the reds rushing to their positions look. Look at this, there's so many of them. Like I say, there is approximately 1,500 red soldiers based in, stationed in this camp. It's going to be super epic to watch. They've got machine gun positions, they've got mortars, they've got absolutely everything in the way of defences. They even have the high ground with these towers, look. From 50 caliber guns right there. We can see in the background now that the greens are making their first assault on the uh, on this red camp right here. We're going to watch to see how they do. The reds are really pouring out on the greens. If 
but I'm pretty sure the Greens are going to put up a fight. Major Johnson, they need to take out that AT before... Well, they need to take out that tank before they get too close. Look at that. The artillery is really doing its job though, trying to soften it up. Let's have a look at the red defences. As you can see right here, this is the red front line. Further back look, we have reserve troops ready to go into battle. These guys have actually been ordered not to go into the front line, not just yet, look. Look at the background look. Look at all that. These guys have been ordered to stay put until the greens have taken this area at the front. So if the greens seem to be a threat, which the reds don't know at this precise moment because they have no idea how many greens are attacking. I think there's approximately 600 greens that are going to be attacking in this battle. What are they doing in the center? That's a suicide mission. They're trying to crawl to cover, I think. Reds are doing a really good job. As we all know, this escalated from corporations fighting over plastic. Further back as well, we do have a second line of defences for the Reds, which is this hill right here. I want you guys to name this hill in the comments, because I can imagine if the Greens do get somewhat close, this is going to be absolutely devastating for them. But you guys can name this in the comments. Maybe you guys can name the battle as well. And again, on the third line, look, we've got another 200 soldiers ready to deploy if the Greens take the second line. So tell me in the comments, pause the video right here. Let's have a guessing game. Let's see who's going to win this battle. Tell me, Greens or Reds? The Blues don't want any involvement in this war just yet. The Reds seem to be doing a very good job keeping them at bay. That tank is just going up and down, look. Executing everyone that he sees. But they've lost a lot of reds as well, look. Look at that. When it gets a little bit less laggy, what we'll do is we'll drop in as a red character and a green character and play some first person. See how long we can survive for. I'm really looking forward for them back lines to advance as well. Oh, here comes an, yet another wave of greens. Moving up some engineers as well, I can see. Where's the AT? That's what I want to know. We need to bring some AT forward. Look at these defences as well, they've built spikes, we've got tank traps. This map took me quite a while to make actually, it took me about two days to make this map. Leave some ideas in the comment section of what maps you want to see in the future. The greens are starting to take some ground now. You can always tell who's winning, if the greens are moving forward, that means the greens have the superior forces. If they're stood still, that means they're kind of even. The Reds also, if there's too many Greens, will start retreating. But like I say, the Reds have a plan. Colonel Redshenkov has a plan. He's going um, to try and bring his troops forward in waves so he doesn't waste too many. But you imagine if you send them all at once, the artillery would just pound them all and kill them all. The question is, though, how are they going to get past this tank? Also shooting 80 from the hill as well. It's just very hard to get them. Oh, tell a light. They've managed to take out one of them. Oh, look at some of the paladins. Oh, it's beautiful. Also, tell me in the comment section, were you in this battle if you roleplay along with this series? Lots to announce as well. Um, we're actually, um, I think it's a cl it's closed now, but we're actually developing an Army Men of War app as well. So you guys can log in and you can uh, create your character 
and do all of the Discord roleplay in one place on one app. So a huge shout out to my buddy Survival Master. He's working on that at the moment. That tank is not giving up, is it? No idea who's winning or losing, though. The red line seem to be somewhat compromised. Let's have a look at the briefing over here, look. Look at this. Reminds me of the old days where it's like, The one with the rifle shoots! When the man with the rifle is dead! The man following picks up the rifle and shoots! <laughs> no doubt these guys will be deploying any moment now. Just waiting for their orders. There will be a lot of soldiers. I think it's just these towers now which are holding the line. And that tank as well. We've got another wave of greens coming as well. Let's have a look. Major Johnson's doing a really good job. Very good tactic to try and soften up the lines. Could you imagine if they just all charged at the same time with just infantry? It would li they literally had double their forces. We get through these spiky defences now. You can see most of the AT has been taken out. Look, there's one of them right there. Maybe they can detrack it or something. I'm still just using the cover over here as well. There's just that one dishka left up there now. You can see all the little red heads popping up in the distance on the hill. Now we've got a new battle map as well. I want to start coming up with some names for some specific companies. We've lost two more AT there as well, look. I think they have detracked it though. They have, yep. That's all they needed to do, but now it's just a static bunker. Do we have any AT whatsoever? Oh! Friendly fire! Friendly fire! Green on green! Greens are starting to push now. And so are the reserves. Here comes the reserves, look. 200 more men have now been deployed. We still have these guys, though, left to deploy after. So this is going to be a long battle, so... Go get yourself a cup of tea or something. I'm on the edge of my seat right now. And here they come, trying to retake this area right here, look. Trying to get a really good angle so we can see it all. This could be it for the greens. We need to get more men over this shingle right there, look. Over this ditch thing. An exchange of fire at the moment. These guys are clumping up right next to the tank to try and avoid this machine gun. Good strategy. I just don't think there's anything they can do because all the AT has been killed. What we might have to do is pick up some of their AT and try and use it. Can we see any on the floor? Let's see if we can do it. Let's see if we can manually grab some of this AT. Where are you going, sir? Come on. Over here, look. There we go. We've got the AT. Time not to fire. There we go. Can we do this? That's what we wanted to see. Right there, look. 
I don't think it did any damage though. The armor is too much on that thing. Damn. Reds, remember this day, number 592. Held the line against the greens. Single T80. And now the Reds are on the counter attack. The greens are starting to somewhat retreat. Oh, here they come, like, whoa! This could be it for the greens. I have no idea how many waves they've got left. But if they do crawl into the, the range of the artillery, that could be good. Maybe that's what the greens are trying to do, trying to bring them into the range of the paladins. They're making good use of the elevation as well. Wow, look at this. Let's take control of a red and see what it looks like. What are we going for here? We're going for a standard. Standard AKM, look at that. I've installed an updated uh, depth of field mod, so it makes the battlefields look so much better. I'll take it, we're going on the charge. I'm just going to stay with my men. Oh, direct hit with artillery. Here comes another wave of greens to support the front line. Do we have any AT to come and support? Do we have any AT left? So we can see that the green weakness is AT. We've got an AT over here, so... Right, we're going to form a squad right here. You, sir, we need you on the flank. Same with you, sir. You're AT. We're going to make an AT squad. We can. Come on. But we can't. It's... They can't really push on them at the minute, can they? Because if they try, there's too many red infantry. Using their grenade launchers. That's what I like to see. Look at the amount of dead reds. Crazy. I think the reds are starting to learn now. They're like, they want us to attack. They want us to attack because they have artillery. We're not going to fall for that. We're going to let them come to us. That's what they're thinking right now. These guys are just chilling, luck. Just waiting. I can imagine Colonel Redchenko is not on the field at the moment. He would be behind the line. Because the agreement was in this video, if the Greens do take up to here, there should be around 300 Reds left in reserve. And Colonel Redchenko staying behind with those. Either to form a counter-attack if the Greens do win, or form defences if the Greens win as well. So the Reds are prepared in every sense. He's relying on his captains to uh, hold the line. And like I say, dudes, this would have happened instantaneously after the last battle. So in the story so far, we have escalation through the plastic dimension with Emperor Ruskin becoming Emperor. And with that, he's also tried to take control of the human dimension as well by opening up the portals and saying that all the plastic from the human world belongs to him which has caused a war between all the corporations of the human dimension. So you've got Grump Industries, Sunk Industries, and more. And with that dispute in the um, central trade area, that led to all-out war across the border. Green seem to have counter-attacked again and took the front line. They're doing a good job. I think the next part would be them meeting this battle line right here. It's going to be really interesting to see them actually meet a, a full-on hill line defense like that, look. With machine guns, 
troops that won't retreat. These guys will not retreat, so these guys will stay put. Let's push forward as a green. As you guys know, I am the god of war and death, so whoever I tend to touch does die. So we're going to possess this dude. I feel sorry for him, but I'll try to keep him as alive as long as possible. So we'll give him an aimer. There you go. He's got an aimer now. And you can also see on the top left as well, the battle map. Reds representing reds and the blues representing the greens. You can actually see the top of that hill right there. Get rid of this horrible silhouette thing. There we go, that's better. Cool. And men are pushing forward. I think the further I push forward, the more they push forward as well. Oh, take your shots. Oh, damn. What I'll do as well, dudes, when I upload this mod to Patreon, I'll include all of the mods and all of the um, missions and all the maps as well that come with it. For the perspective mod. All credits to the um, developers as well. Can't. Can't do it. Finish reloading. Come on, you got this. He's about to die. Should we get a grenade over there? Let's do it. See how far we can throw it. Go. Oh, I think that was a good shot, actually. No. Headshot. Unfortunate for him. Took a few with him, though. See how we're doing. That red tank is still active. I think now's the time to bring that AT forward. Oh, there it is. There they are right there, look. Do you guys have a special mission? Take the tank out. See if, we can, if we can get them behind. We need to get them behind the tank before they can take it out. What are you guys doing? Come on, go, go. In fact, we'll just order them. Take it out. There we go. Hopefully they don't miss. Please don't miss. No, don't. Right, that guy's getting court martialed. I swear to God. I told him not to shoot. <laughs> We're going to get this guy right behind if we can. He's like one of the only AT guys left. Put it to the test. This guy. Alright, we got this. Move out of the way. It did nothing. This thing is impenetrable. No, it's not. We penetrated. Yep, that's a penetrated hole right there. We did no, it's not. It's still alive. Damn it. The last stand of number 592. We need some, like, I don't know, some C4 or something. If this thing's still alive towards the end of the battle, we'll bring in some engineers. I can imagine that the next wave is about to deploy if they get any closer. But the entrance into the camp is now under green control. It's been an epic battle so far. Push her forward to try and engage the uh, Reds. And here we go, look. The battle for the hill. Who's going to win? Damn, look at those choke points. 